Are you planning to make a smooth move to Cabo, but you don't know anything about the process? Stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you how to become a resident of Mexico. Today, we have the pleasure to have Claudia Mendoza here. She's the founder of Claudia Mendoza's An Asociado. She's an expert to relocating people coming here in Cabo, and she's gonna guide us through this process to obtain or get our residency of Mexico. If this is your first time visiting this channel, make sure to subscribe below and tap on the bell to get all the notifications to be the first one to know everything here in Cabo. By the way, my name is Sarali Veronica. My team and I get calls, emails, and text messages from people just like you that wants to know everything about Cabo. Whether if you are ready in two days or two years, contact us today so we can be your number one resource to provide you all the information that you need to know about being Cabo. So welcome, Claudia. Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you for your time and being here. How are you today? Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. My pleasure to be here today. I'm so excited. Gracias. Gracias for the You're invitation. welcome. So we are here to our friends. Okay. So tell us a little bit about you. Where are you from and how long have you been here in Cabo? Well, I'm from Mexico City, okay, but I have all of my life here. I rise in this beautiful place. I have oh. like 35 years living here. So, so you're basically, here. you basically are Choyera. That's the kinda, name. Kinda, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you, about your background, how you became the CEO of Claudia Mendoza, and how you became an expert to relocating people from another country to here to Mexico. I was working on human resources many, many years ago, so okay. I was the person in charge to help all the expats um, moving to Cabo. Okay. So in this way, I learned how to do it and how to help them. Okay. See? And then with the time, I decided to do it by myself, and now I have my own company. That's amazing. <laughs> so that was 10 years ago when you started your More own company? That. Yes. What services do you provide? Bank accounts, uh, tax ID, we call them the okay. RFC or RFC. Um, probably you will need it if you are moving here, for sure you will need it. <laughs> and uh, well, basically any kind of Mexican uh, paperwork or any kind of process, that you need it for it, just call me. <laughs> I'm the person. <laughs> just call me and I will find a way to help you. Tell us a little bit about the process, uh, how we can get our residence. Is that a difficult process or what do you think? Uh, no, it's not. Actually, there is like different ways to get your uh, residency. Um, basically, one of the first ones is um, to apply for a visa, and this process you have to be completed out of Mexico at any Mexican consulate. Okay, so you okay. need to go to the Mexican consulate and apply for a visa, and they're gonna make an interview. You need to show your financials and other requirements as well. But it's basically the the first step that you have to do. And then you have to come to Mexico and complete all the process, okay? This is okay. like the first way to do it. Okay, do you have to have a job first or do you uh, find uh, a kind of company or how we can go to the embassy and then how we can do it just with our paperwork or our documents or... This is what we do. I'm going to help you okay. to guide you to okay. do all the process. So once we have a contact, I'm going to explain you all the process and I'm going to help you to find the appointment and give it to you the um, other requirements requirements and well basically I'm gonna be with you in touch since the beginning to the end. How many ways do we have to get our residency here in Mexico? Well basically we have a different ways okay but the most common is for uh, economic solvency okay. okay so you have to show your financials and apply for a visa out of Mexico at any Mexican consulate from the place you are. 
Okay, okay, for example, if I live in United States, I go to the consulate in United States, Mexican consulate, and go yeah. there. Yes, depending on the state that you are. Okay, that okay. depends on the state. Okay. Uh huh. And then the other one is by family. By I family? Mean, yes, if you have a Mexican kid or if you are married with a Mexican as well. Or your mom is a Mexican? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, they have okay. to be kids, um, married. Okay. Or parents. Parents. I mean, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your first line of the, the family. family. Yes. Okay. You have to be the first line. And then if you have a sponsor in Mexico, I mean, if you have a job offer, um, if you want to work here, but you have this company that wants to hire you, and this company has all the documents and requirements in order to hire em uh, employees from other countries, yes, you can apply for it. Okay, and perfect. The Let's uh, talk uh, about the cost. How much is going to cost us to get our residence? Well, uh, it's depending because, well, by the visa or going to the Mexican consulate out of Mexico, there is like another process. So we have like another different ways to apply for a residency as well. It can be for family okay. or job offer. Okay, so it's most of the common ways to apply for it. But um, more or less about the cost is between like 600, 700 US dollars per person depending on okay? okay because every case is different how long does the process normally take as i mentioned you uh we have like multiple ways to apply for it and in this case if you are out of mexico and you need to go to the mexican consulate well depending on the ability you know at the consulate because sometimes it takes time to complete the process but more or less is like between one month and three months, more or less, if you are applying at the Mexican consulate out okay. of Mexico, okay? And if you are here and you are um, married or if you have a Mexican kids or family here in Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, the process is more fast, okay? Because you need to uh, have the requirements, at least the birther certificate or the marriage certificate as well. And well, this process can be done in a couple weeks if you are here in Mexico. Okay, so the shortest time that you can get your residence is three weeks, uh, one month? Yeah. Okay. Basically, yes. And also, if you have like a company who is getting you a job, okay, if you want to apply for, for a work visa, uh, this process can take like a month. How long? does it take the longest process? Well, it's depending especially uh, for the certificates because you need to go to the place where you get born or where you get married and get the certificate, they have the seal on it. And sometimes this process takes more than we think. Between three months, four or five months, no more than that, I think. And for all of the people that purchase a home here in Cabo, do you provide uh, any special services? Yes, of course, yes. And especially if you have a new home here, we help you to switch all of your utilities, especially for uh, electricity bill, your water bill, your Telmex, which is the Wi-Fi provider. We help you to have everything on your name, to do all the paperwork you need, but don't worry, I will take care of everything. Okay, and this is the same for the new homes, like pre-construction uh, and everything? Yeah, we help you to do uh, new contracts and get the utilities done. Okay, um, if there is anything that you want to add to our audience, so right now, this is the moment. Gracias. Yeah, well, we provide the VIP services for all of the clients, okay? We're going to be we're gonna be with you side by side every time we're going to be in contact and I'm going to be with you in the whole process okay and if we have to meet at the government offices I'm going to be with you all the time so you don't have to worry about if you speak Spanish or not and uh, well we do this every day so everybody in that the government offices um, knows, they knows you. you yeah <laughs> we are well known so don't okay. worry about it and also well 
you don't have to worry about basically nothing just to be here I'm gonna take up everything for you so and it's just for a small fee you're gonna forget about anything you know I'm gonna take care of everything for you if you have any problem here or anything about documents or with the government, you already know who are you going to call. <laughs> so she's yes. here to help <laughs> us with <laughs> everything. <laughs> it will be my pleasure to help you. So just call us and also if you have any question or something like that, please feel free to contact me. Okay, she's the perfect one. So guys, you already know all this information, as I mentioned it. If you want to contact her, I'm gonna leave you the information in the, in the description of this video. So you will have her emails, her IG, and her WhatsApp. Okay, and thank, thank you, Claudia. You. I appreciate thank your time you. here you and all the information that you give it to us. And mm -hmm. if you want to add anything to the video and you want to talk to the people, uh, say anything anything to them, so just do it. Just, just thank you, thank you. I'm so happy to be here with you today and for all of your friends. Um, if you have any questions, just contact me. Um, every case is different, every um, person as well. So um, just call me, contact me, and we can find a way to help you. Well, guys, thank you for watching our, our video. So in the next video, I'm going to uh, provide you more content of value. So stick around and watch my next video.